China has just taken a bold leap forward in aviation. The long-awaited Comac C939 Jumbo jet has officially been developed and released. This is no longer a plan or prototype. It's real. It's ready. And it's here to shake up the skies. Hello and welcome to Skyline, where we track the future of flight. Today's headline, China's new jumbo jet, the C-939, is not only built, it's been unveiled and introduced to the world. And this changes everything. For decades, Boeing and Airbus have ruled the long-haul skies. But now, from the east, comes a serious challenger. The C-939 is China's largest passenger aircraft ever. It's massive. It's modern. And it's built to fly over 400 passengers across oceans nonstop. The age of the jumbo jet isn't over. It's been reborn. Let's walk through what's making headlines. The C-939 is a twin-engine wide-body aircraft developed by Comac, China's state-owned aerospace manufacturer. It follows the ARJ-21 and the C-919, which were regional and narrow-body jets. But the C-939? It's in a whole new class. This plane stretches over 76 meters long. That's even longer than Boeing's 777-300ER. It's got a range of over 13,000 kilometers, about 8,100 miles, and a maximum takeoff weight of up to 320 tons. And yes, it's flying with just two engines. Now, that might sound risky to some, especially those who grew up flying on four-engine giants like the Boeing 747 or Airbus A380. But here's the truth. Aviation technology has changed. Two ultra-powerful engines today can do the work of four. The C-939 is powered by China's own CJ. 3,000 engines, each producing up to 45 tons of thrust. That's on par with the GE-9X or Rolls-Royce Trent XWB, used by the most advanced Western jets today. Let's take a moment here. This is not just an aircraft announcement. It's a signal that China has arrived in the global aviation game, fully developed, powered by homegrown engines, and already entering the spotlight. So where is it headed? Right now, the C-939 is in the early stages of airline integration. Initial deliveries have begun for major Chinese carriers, with test routes being flown across Asia. Plans are already in motion to expand to international long-haul flights starting next year. And here's a point that matters. This aircraft isn't just about prestige. It's about practicality. Airlines need fuel efficiency, high passenger capacity, and reliability. The C-939 is designed with all three in mind. It's built using advanced composite materials to reduce weight. It features aerodynamic upgrades. And inside, the cabin offers flexible seating, from luxury first class to dense economy layouts. Now, let's address the question on your mind. Can this jet compete with Boeing and Airbus? The answer is yes and no. Technically, it's in the same league. But commercially, it's just beginning a race. Most Western airlines still rely heavily on Boeing 787s and Airbus 350s. It will take time, certification, and trust for the C-939 to break into U.S. and European markets. But China's strategy is long-term, and it's serious. In fact, this jet is already part of a bigger plan. China is working to create a full aviation supply chain. That includes not just airframes, but engines, landing gear, avionics, and software. The goal? Full independence from foreign suppliers. And here's where things get even more interesting. The unveiling of the C-939 didn't just make headlines in Asia. Aviation leaders from the Middle East, Africa, and even South America have shown early interest. Some are exploring options to place future orders. Why? Because many nations are looking for alternatives to Boeing and Airbus, especially with long backlogs and rising costs. And let's not forget cargo. The C-939 size makes it perfect for freight as well. With global e-commerce booming, Comac is already studying freighter variants that could launch by the end of this decade. That's another revenue stream and another threat to Western dominance. But of course, nothing in aviation happens overnight. Certification with Western aviation authorities like the FAA and ESA is still pending. That process can take years. But Comac is reportedly already engaging with regulators to prepare for this next step. If the C-939 meets international safety standards, it could fly in Europe and the U.S. in the coming years. Until then, 
China is building strength at home, one delivery at a time. So what's the takeaway? This is no longer about catching up. This is China stepping forward. The C939 is fully developed. It's real. It's released. And it's sending a clear message. The future of aviation will no longer be decided by just two companies in the West. Whether it's passengers boarding in Shanghai, freight leaving Guangzhou, or international routes crossing the Pacific, this plane is ready to fly. Thanks for watching this in-depth look at China's aviation breakthrough. If you've made it this far, you clearly care about the future of global aerospace. So why not stay informed? Hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update from Skyline. We bring you real, factual news about the most advanced aircraft, major developments, and the rise of aviation powerhouses like China. If this video helped you understand the scale and importance of the C-939 in China's aviation push, then give it a like. It really helps our channel grow. And don't keep this to yourself. Share this video with fellow aviation fans, your friends, or anyone who's curious about the changing skies. Your support helps us bring you more high-quality aviation content without the noise. Keep your eyes on the skies, and we'll keep bringing you the facts. This is Skyline, where the future of flight takes off.